What's up everybody? It's Jeremy from Budget Dad Barbecue and Brewing. We are back at it, my friends. I know it has been quite a few months since I last made videos. Everything from summer vacations to craziness in the world right now. I want to send out an apology to all my viewers. I have not forgotten about what I and hopefully you love to do best and that is get out into the backyard and do some smoking. So enough with that. I'm not going to get into that. What I really want to get into is this tri-tip. You guys check it out. Here's what we're going to be doing today. I got a four pound tri-tip. We're going to do this brisket style. Now I did this a few times before looking at Harry Sue's video. I've had a few spins on it. We're going to be letting this tri-tip go low and slow anywhere between 230 to 260 ideally. I'm going to try to keep within that range. Okay, let's jump in and we'll get this trimmed up. I'll show you how we do it. Like I said, this is a four pound brisket. I'm not going to do a whole lot to it other than just trim this silver skin, this hard fat bottom side. We don't really see any sort of a fat cap or anything like that. So again, we're just going to cut all the silver skin that you can see and clean it up. All right, that's about as good as I'm going to do for right now. Not perfection, but if you know me well enough, I never necessarily strive for perfection. I often say I'm doing the best I can. And in my mind, that's good enough. One thing to note is that tri-tips are an extremely lean piece of meat. So it's going to be very easy to accidentally dry this thing out. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on this to make sure that we are wrapping it earlier rather than later because I don't wanna keep this thing open on the mini Kamado because if so, chances are by the time this thing is finished, it's gonna be essentially a huge dry turd. We don't want that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start off with the base. Instead of mustard, I'm gonna do pickle juice this time. Just a little dab will do ya. I'm not trying to saturate this. Perfect. Let's do this one side. Give it a little rub. My rationale for this is kind of like what you've seen me do in the past. I have started off with a vinegar base, an acid base, and this is the same concept. Before I put anything on, I want that acid to get into this meat, penetrate it a little bit, get down into there. a little massage okay we got our acid on the next thing I'm gonna put on there is a little oil this is something that I typically don't do but I've been doing it more often especially with my chicken today we're gonna to use a base of garlic powder seasoning salt Laurie's is fine coarse ground pepper and celery seed first let's start with the garlic Next up is my seasoning salt. If you do too heavy on the salt, you'll end up with two such scenarios. The salt's gonna pull the juices out, dry it out into a big, huge piece of beef jerky, or you're just gonna end up with a really salty tri-tip afterwards. Also to note that when we spritz this, we're gonna be spritzing this with beef broth and a pickle juice mixture. And so that's also gonna add a little salt to this while we're smoking. Next up is black ground pepper. It's looking good. Lastly is celery seed. The celery seed is a Harry Sue tip that I started using some time ago on my briskets and as usual Harry is right if you don't want to skimp on the celery seed I really really like the flavor that comes out and I like how it assists with some of that bark now it's time to let this rest while I fire up that Kamado I'm going to be using my LifeSmart 15 inch mini Kamado today because I think this is the perfect size. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a few handfuls of charcoal in there. We're going to get it fired up and then we'll be back in a moment. All right, we are back rolling smoke at around 245 degrees. Perfect temperature. I threw some hickory chips in there earlier and it smells amazing. Let's throw this thing on. Let's come back in about 30 minutes to check on that bark and see how it's going. In the meantime, let's go into the kitchen and make our spritz. All right, let's start with our spritz. First, we're gonna start off with a little beef broth. 
You can use uh, low salt or no salt if you want and go ahead and just salt it up to your taste. Next is a dash of pickle juice. Next, a few dashes of Worcestershire. Last but not least, optional, but I like to add just a small pinch of chili flakes. Okay, let's give it a little shake. And that's it. We'll go back outside and check it out in a little bit and see how it's looking. See you then. All right, we're about 30 minutes into the cook. Let's go ahead and check this thing and see if it needs to be spritzed. So I could start to see some bark forming right here on the edges. Once we get a couple hours into this and I start to really like the way that bark is forming, we'll come back and then we'll get it wrapped. See you then. All right, everybody, we're back. We're a little over three hours. If this were to be a big brisket, I would let this go much longer. But again, this was only four pounds and I trimmed it. So I think at this point, because it's so lean, because it's a small piece of meat, I don't want to go too much on this. I just want to get that bark formed before we wrap it. Let's check it out and see where we're at. This bark looks good. Uh, so far, I mean, the celery seeds sort of come off, but it's not the best in the world, but it still feels nice. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's drying out so far. The water bath is holding up pretty nicely. So from what I'm assessing right now, I do not want to keep this on any longer. I think it's done its job. I've been spritzing this about every 30 to 40 minutes since we put this on. So I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and wrap it. So let's take this spritz. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna pour just a little bit at the bottom. I'm not gonna put it at the top because it may break down that bark. Now we're gonna take our probe thermometer. I'm gonna put it in the center, the thickest part. All right, so we're gonna put this back on that mini Kamado, which is running right now at around 250 degrees. That's perfect. Now that I have my temperature probe in there, I'm gonna wait for it to hit an internal temperature of around 195, at which time I'll come back out and test it for doneness. We'll see you then. Everybody, it has been two hours since we wrapped this thing. Total cook time for this tri-tip has been five hours. We just hit about 198 degrees internal temp. Let's take this thing off so we can put it into the cooler to rest for around 90 minutes. All right, so like I said, we're gonna leave this for around 90 minutes. It can go longer, but I think 90 minutes is the sweet spot and then we'll cut into it. And I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. We'll see you back in the kitchen. All right, my friends, the tri-tip has rested. Let's open it up and see what we have. I'm gonna try to save that juice for later. Okay, so far I haven't lost any of the bark, so that's a good thing. All right, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's cut into this. This is a lean cut of meat, you guys. It's just going through like butter. Nice smoke ring. Mm. That celery seed is so good. I love that celery seed on there. You don't have that fattiness as you would do normally with a brisket, but it's really, really tender. It's really juicy. I'll give some to my wife and see what she thinks. That smoke ring on that tri-tip, I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's delicious. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the dryness? It's not dry. Mm-hmm. It's lean though, right? It's lean, but it's not dry. There's mm -hmm. juices in there. Mm-hmm. And the celery seed is bomb. Mm. I'm going to try this little end point, this little burnt end. I bet you this thing is packed with flavor. Mm. Yeah. Salty celery seed on steroids. Mm. Mm. So I'm realizing now that I cut it in the wrong direction. <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. Lesson learned.
Mm. All right, well, there you have it. Tri-tip brisket style, five hour total cook time, four pounds, cooking at approximately 250, 260 degrees on our LifeSmart 15 inch mini Kamado. If you would ask me if I would do this again, absolutely, hands down. I've done this a couple times before. I would do this again for sure. This is a really, really nice, flavorful piece of meat. Definitely lean, but I think that something like this is perfect for those who don't really like that heavy richness, but at the same time want that smokiness and that beefiness that comes with the brisket experience. All right, guys, well, you know the drill. If you learned anything, if you like this, if you were halfway entertained, click that like button, subscribe. If not, I'm not gonna judge you. Take care, we'll see you next time.